Shalom family, is China pre-positioning vast numbers of soldiers, spies and saboteurs in the United States communities for their coming war? The answer is yes. There have been a dramatic spike in the number of Chinese nationals that are coming across the border. The vast majority of them are men and the vast majority of those men are military age. Most of the time when these men are intercepted by US officials, they claim they have come to apply for asylum. Of course, they know that the court dates will be set far in the future. And because the system is absolutely overwhelmed by asylum seekers, they don't wait for their court dates. They're released into the United States and they go where they want. So they go establish themselves. I'm convinced if they're older than military age, they're probably experienced generals or commanders that have been sent in to rally the troops. So what it means is that thousands upon thousands of Chinese men, military age men, have been allowed into the country. And you don't know where they are and you don't know what they're doing, except for that one Chinese bio lab that was found. So far in the fiscal year 2023, U.S. Customs and Border Protection encountered 40,000 Chinese nationals on the southern and northern borders, far surpassing the 23,500 and 27,800 from 2021 and 2022. 40,000. They're preparing for invasion. In July, more than 6,000 crossed the border just two months after the C-19 rule, expelling illegal migrants known as Title 42 expired. Obviously, the Chinese nationals do not walk from China. How do they get there? This is a major national security issue, but the Biden administration ain't doing nothing about it because he still needs to catch those Chinese checks. And at the end of the day, when those Chinese soldiers are walking up and down in the neighborhoods post the missile strikes, that will be because of Joe Biden. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.